morning everyone, um, it's 6.30 and it's time for a coffee. I cannot function without my morning espresso. Orange pod, always. Um, I better drink this quickly because I've got a run club starting in about 20 minutes. I've got a couple of minutes uh, before I dial in to my run club, which can I confirm is a virtual run club and not a physical run club. It's run by a guy called Anthony Fletcher and the company's called One Track and it's the most brilliant thing I've come across in lockdown. Um, you dial in, there's usually about 20 or 30 other, run other runners in there um, and you feel like you're really in a bit of a community, which is just so nice and it's actually really saved me at the moment. Today's session is an interval session. Um, it's an hour with about 10 minutes of drills at the beginning so you run i usually run about eight nine k but i'll report back when i finished to finish my run oh wow two new records this is a great start to the day fastest mile great what else where have we got fastest 1k that's good and then my watch gives you lots of different stats so there we go just 8.34k 50 minutes average pace vo2 max so that's kind of the point of this training was doing intervals so that you were affecting the aerobic and the anaerobic fitness and then there it tells you how many hours you've got to recover for this watch is amazing so yeah that's a very good workout for my shower i'm just gonna have a quick cool down with my theragun which is amazing um it uses something called percussive therapy uh, to boost recovery and basically get really into your muscles i'll turn it on but it's pretty noisy so you turn it on and it just gets into those muscles it's basically like a supercharged foam roller. So I've had my shower and put on a bit of makeup and I thought it'd be a good time to share some skincare that I use. So let me show you. So this is what I use on a daily and nightly basis. It's a bit controversial, but I do use the same skincare morning and evening. So Sarah Chapman's Ultimate Cleanse is an absolute hero for me. I use this morning and evening, one or two pumps, depending how grotty and gritty I'm feeling. Um, it's got a really lovely balmy oil texture. I put this straight onto dry skin and it's amazing. Since using this, my redness has reduced so much and it's one of the first cleansers that has essential oils that does actually agree with my skin. So I love that one. and. I also love Sarah Chapman's Rapid Radiance Cleanse. I actually finished this this morning in the shower. Um, I keep this one in the shower because it's got a really lovely, uplifting, kind of spary smell and it makes your skin quite glowy, which I like in the morning. I know Becky raved about this one in her vlog, but I love this too. I use this in the evening um, as my kind of first cleanse with a cotton pad to get rid of my makeup, mascara, all that stuff. But um, yeah, I buy this in the big one because I go through quite a lot of it. Also have the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which has been a bit of a game changer for me. For lots of you who know, I did start out my career in beauty and I think just using so many different products was just a nightmare for my skin. And I got really quite bad redness, quite mild rosacea really, um, but it really got me down. And since cutting back on my skincare and ingredients, fragrance, all that stuff, my redness is really reduced. So this is incredible. I think lots of people ask me, what you know, what should I use on my skin? And I always say, use a hyaluronic acid serum. This is 6.99, I think, around six quid. And it's on ASOS, I've just restocked. Also just restocked on this incredible CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion. Um, it says PM, but I use this morning and night. Um, it's lovely, again, fragrance-free, really good brand. If you have slightly problem skin, they have loads of different options. I also love this amazing Helio Care um, SPF. This is SPF 50. Um, and even when I'm staying at home, I really love using this. It's just got a lovely light airy texture and actually makes your skin look quite dewy. So that's a win for me. Kind of a couple of add-ons that I have. Um, Sarah Chapman's lovely eye recovery. Yeah, it's incredible. It's got a very small amount of vitamin A, which we all know is retinol. It has got caffeine as well. So good if you're prone to a bit of puffiness in the morning. Okay, Sarah Chapman again. Um, I use these about once every 10 days, I'd say. These are her 3D moisture infusion masks. If you don't know about these, you're really missing out because they're incredible. Um, and actually you end up with so much serum in the packet that I keep it here on, on, my, de on my kind of shelf for two, three days and, and use it as and when. Um, and then I always, always rub it in with this incredible facial lift, which you kind of up and down your chin and your cheekbones um, and it just gets rid of any puffiness. It's amazing. Um, I don't know how I've lived without that. Um, and when it comes to lymphatic drainage, I also love my gua sha. In the summer, I keep this in the fridge. Uh, it goes really nicely with the Ordinary Serum, also the CeraVe and also the Sarah Chapman Ultimate Cleanse. Just really kind of 
smoothing onto your skin, getting in all to the kind of, getting in the areas with a lot of puffiness. And that one is by the Hey You Method, but I know you can find lots on um, Cult Beauty, there's quite a few and other places. While I'm in my bathroom, I thought it would be a good time to also quickly mention my purple shampoo, which is saving me from the crazy root situation that's going on. Um, this lovely one from Fudge, I've been using the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, I've actually been leaving the shampoo on for about two, three minutes while I do some other stuff in the shower and then use the conditioner. It does, I actually have used it just now. Um, my roots are about four weeks overdue, so it does make your hair really, really blonde. I think it's great. Just be careful, you've got to wash it out until the water's clear, otherwise you do end up with some um, purple streaks. Just made a big cafeteria of coffee um, and while I wait for that to brew, I'm gonna talk to you about my breakfast. As a general rule, um, I like to wait 12 hours between my dinner and my breakfast. Um, I know people fast for a lot longer than this, and I probably should leave it a bit longer. In all fairness, I do stretch it sometimes a little bit, but um, yeah, about 12 hours is good for me. So if I finish my dinner at about 8, um, 8.39, I like to eat breakfast at about 9. So it's pretty it's pretty easy, really, um, but that's my kind of rule. It's a good chance to let your body reset and do its thing. And for breakfast this morning, I'm having some overnight oats, which I'm going to show you now, um, but I do like these because it's a really good way to pack in a lot of nutrition and especially after a run when I'm doing lots of sprints and quite high intensity work it's a good way to pack in a good kind of carb protein ratio so let me show you so here are my overnight oats they don't look very appealing but they taste really delicious um I make a huge vat of these on a Sunday and then I keep them in my fridge and it's really quite reassuring knowing I have something in my fridge that's handy, um, easy to grab for breakfast, and also quite packed full of a lot of good nutrition. So how I make them, in my big Tupperware you can see over there in the green thing, I put about 350 grams of oats in there, and sometimes I mix in a few either um, flax seeds or kind of hemp seeds, linseeds. I mean, I've been using these ones at the moment, which are really, really delicious. And then in my Nutribullet container, I put in two bananas, um, a scoop of cinnamon, which I buy in bulk because I love it so much, um, quite a bit of vanilla protein. I love this one from Fortin. I go through a lot of this stuff. They also do an incredible toffee flavour. If you look at the ingredients, it's just got so many delicious um, superfoods and a ton of vitamins and minerals. So I feel quite reassured knowing I'm getting kind of my daily fix with this one. Um, and then I top it up with oat milk, blend it in the Nutribullet and then pour it over the oats and then you have it. And then honestly, that will last you for a good five days. And then you have a delicious breakfast like this. I'm topping mine with some peanut butter this morning because I feel pretty hungry. I just sat down to my desk with my coffee and my breakfast and wanted to share the reality of two people working from the same desk from home. Um, I have this little corner here and he has his computer and his screen. So yeah, <laughs> busy day today, inbox full of emails. I got a couple of features to write, a couple of meetings. So better get going. The first thing I do in the morning is look at the calendar. Um, I work around a week ahead and I do six features a week for SL and two for SL Man, which I love. I love doing SL Man. It really appeals to my kind of scientific wellness health brain. Um, this morning, I'm working on one of our lovely food and fitness regimes, which I love writing. I'm just kind of really nosy. and I love looking at people's food and diet and what they do. And this morning I'm working on Roxy Nafusi's who's a great self-development um, health advisor. So that will be really interesting. She's really cool and I'm very intrigued to see what she eats and how she stays sane. I'm halfway through my first feature of the day and I fancied a little break. So I thought it might be quite a good opportunity to chat to you guys about what a week of workouts and fitness looks like for me at the moment, because I don't know about you guys, but I'm finding social media, Instagram particularly, just so overwhelming with workouts and I feel like everyone is working out all times of the day and doing hit on their in their garden and you know all sorts of crazy things and um yeah I am feeling the pressure but I've just been doing what feels right for me um and that is running um I set myself a bit of a goal of running a marathon a week which I've done I think for a month the week before last I kind of had a bit of a pause because I felt a bit knackered but yeah I, I've really kept that up as well as my running I've been trying to do one or two bar classes a week before lockdown I was really into going to bar classes at cycle in the Mortimer Street studio and this is not like anybody I've ever done before it's honestly like bar on crack it's so hard I've actually wanted to cry a few times and potentially leave the class but it's brilliant honestly I really got into it last summer 
and I've honestly never been so toned. It's so, so good. I invested in a couple of um, one and a half kilo dumbbells just at the beginning of lockdown before the Amazon stock was kind of annihilated. And I use those for the classes, which I do, yeah, I, I, yeah probably once a week. And yeah, they're so good. I, I love them. And I've also been doing a bit of yin yoga because sometimes I just need to breathe and chill and have a really bloody good stretch. So very exciting, our veg box from the Detox Kitchen has just arrived. And I wanted to share this with you because it's just the best thing ever. For 40 quid, you get all this amazing fresh fruit and veg. I mean, look at all this and it's all organic. Also look at this aubergine. I mean, how amazing is that? What have we got in here? We've got asparagus, lovely courgette, celery, apples, delicious butternut squash, that cabbage looks good bloody love a cauliflower and then on the side they give you all these little treats so this week we have this amazing popcorn from popcorn that will not last a second in this house uh, and also all this amazing stuff so some lentils which are great i'm cooking with a little lentils at the moment making dolls curries lots of different things we've got some oat milk eggs chopped tomatoes always very useful coconut milk my absolute favorite i've been making so many curries recently they're just such a good way of using up veg and actually every time i get this box i always think there's no way i'm going to eat all this fruit and veg and miraculously we get through it which is just the most satisfying thing knowing you're putting all this goodness into your body and what i love about these veg boxes is they also give you some of their delicious sauces this is their oh this is the white bean mash which i absolutely adore um, and you can see they give you the ingredients, which is yummy. This is such a treat. Um, and the other one is a pesto, I believe. Let's have a look. Pesto dressing. I mean, that is yummy. I could put that over roast veg with pasta. Yeah, the options are endless. So it's lunchtime in our household. And what I've been absolutely loving about lockdown is having big bowls of leftovers of whatever I've got in the fridge for lunch. So I always have kind of big roast veg and grainy salads, got some roast veg, green veg with some kind of brown tuna pasta from last night. There's some orzo there. So I've just got a big bowl of, um, I've put cavalry nero on the bottom. Some of the uh, butternut squash, chickpea, tray bake I made the other day. There's some roast kind of beetroot and tomatoes in there with some rosemary and then a bit of tofu. And I'm gonna drizzle it with some of this amazing detox kitchen tamari dressing from our veg box last week. Before I go back to my desk, I have to have a square of this. I have a square or two of this every single day, essential. Next up are supplements. Um, I take a lot of supplements and I'm gonna share with you what I take on a daily basis. This is by no means what you guys should be taking. Um, I wanna stress these are things that I've learned over the years and months that agree with me. So yeah, let me show you. So I'm gonna start by talking about Gabriella Peacock's Clean Me, which is a really wonderful antioxidant superfood pack supplement. It comes in these very clever packs of three capsules and a drink which looks like pond water but tastes like the most delicious green apple. Um, this is a really great supplement if you feel a bit overindulged or you want a little bit of a detox. Um, I take it maybe for a week every month um, and when I take it I do notice my tummy is that little bit flatter and it's just, yeah, a great way to pack in some nutrition and feel a bit healthier, really. You can see here the ingredients, there's a lot going on. A lot of vitamins, a lot of superfoods, broccoli powder, dandelion. Yeah, things are just going to give your liver a bit of a boost. Now, I've also been taking this CBD, turmeric and ginger supplement from Pure Sport. Now, I was really interested to take some turmeric because I thought that I wasn't kind of recovering quite as well from my workouts and turmeric is a really potent anti-inflammatory. Um, so I wanted to give this a go and I'm pleased to say I've noticed a massive, massive difference. I was just kind of noticing after my runs, my legs were feeling really heavy. Um, and this is a great supplement. It contains a lot of turmeric and black pepper, which helps boost the absorbency of the turmeric. Um, so this is good if you're active and it also contains a hell of a lot of CBD, which is really good to keep you calm and sane, which we all need. In these testing times we also need vitamin c and your zuki's liposomal um, offering has become a bit of a staple in my supplement routine it comes in these really great little sachets they're only 15 mils so what's that a tablespoon it has a thousand milligrams of your vitamin c but the idea with this is that it's liposomal so it goes well they say it goes straight to your cells um, as opposed to some of those effervescent tablets you take and other tablets which might not get to your cells as quick as as they should so this is really good and i've been taking this since december um i have to say i haven't had a single cold or sniffle since so really really recommend this the other thing i take in the morning is a probiotic and i'm really in it for the immune boosting properties because everyone knows 
um, the immune system lies in the gut. Well, a hell of a lot of it anyway. So I've been taking this one. I sometimes take it in the evening if I forget. It doesn't make too much of a difference, really. If I need a bit of a boost mid-morning, I don't know, maybe about 10 or 11, if I haven't slept so well or if I've had an early workout, this nootropic from the Nuco is incredible. Nootrofocus, it's called. Now, if you've heard about nootropics or interested interested in them, um, they're basically herbal supplements that boost your brain power and they really, really work. This one contains a blend of a few of them, but also it contains L-theanine, um, which is amino an amino acid proven to increase your alpha brain waves um, and therefore delivering a calm and focused state. So if you're struggling to focus perhaps, this is a really, really good one. Now, we couldn't go through this vlog without talking about CBD. Um, I don't take CBD every day, but I do when I'm just feeling a bit frazzled, a bit anxious, a bit on edge. Just not really myself and this is my favorite one at the moment chloris is a thousand milligram cbd which i understand is a strong one chloris also do um gentler formulas which also are a little bit more affordable um i would probably recommend starting with a 100 or 200 milligram one but i take a few drops of this under my tongue um makes a huge huge difference more so for kind of my mental state than pain or anything else like that but um i highly recommend this new one from trip um, they also make CBD drinks. This is their new flavoured CBD. Um, I like this one because it tastes delicious. So it's got um strong, it says. Yeah, it's strong. Um, it's also a thousand milligrams. Orange blossom and chamomile tastes delicious. And I take this just when I want something a little bit different because um the chloris one is more of a kind of natural herby taste. Whereas this one is quite sweet and it also looks really really nice on my bathroom shelf okay so here's what i take in the evening or before i go to bed first up is ashwagandha um wild nutrition's ashwagandha is the best one on the market i haven't found one that matches this this one is really potent and brilliant for those of you who don't know um adaptogens are herbal supplements that literally adapt to your mental state and your body so if you're feeling low they'll bring you up if you're feeling stressed they'll bring you down um but ashwagandha is particularly uh, research for its kind of powers to reduce stress and anxiety. I've been taking this for a few weeks now and when I take it I literally sleep right through and don't wake up once in the night. So yeah ashwagandha is really good if you struggle with your sleep as is magnesium. Um, magnesium is a natural muscle relaxant and is brilliant um, at helping, helping to chill you out uh, especially if you're active or kind of burn the candle at both ends that's a good one to take. I also take DIM. I'm not going to try and say its proper name. Um, DIM is proven to help kind of balance out your estrogen levels, uh, which is a good thing for your skin and your hormones. And I also want to give some love to omega-3. Now, since taking omega-3, I've noticed such a difference in my skin. And people always say, oh wow, your skin looks so good today. I tell you what, guys, this is why. Um, Omegas are really potent anti-inflammatory. So that will affect every kind of aspect of your body, skin included. They'll also boost your mood and they're proven to boost immunity as well. So yeah, a real all-rounder. Um, I take three of these, um, Dr. Pericone MD ones every evening without fail, huge, huge difference. I also wanted to give a bit of love to Rejuvenated um, with their collagen shots, which is a really clever um, powder collagen you add to water. I don't take this every day. I probably take this a couple of times a week, maybe three times a week. It just gives you a really good dose of collagen, as you can see here, 10,000 milligrams. And we all lose collagen from the age of 30 by quite a terrifying amount. So it really helps to keep your skin plump and give it that glow. Um, this is a brilliant, brilliant one. You can buy it from their website or um, Cult Beauty. And they have quite a lot of other interesting supplements as well. So worth having a look at. And they've also just launched this compostable packaging, which excites me hugely. Just having a very quick tea break and wanted to share this lovely Parker Peace tea. It's got hemp, spearmint and ashwagandha, as you can see, and it's really yummy. It's kind of minty and really refreshing at this time of the afternoon. So I filed two features, cleared my inbox, logged off, and now it's time to start thinking about supper. Last week's Detox Kitchen veg box came with this really nice recipe card. Uh, these are stuffed Middle East and sweet potatoes. So I'm going to make these because I've got some sweet potatoes and all the other ingredients. They look delicious. Um, I believe you kind of scoop out the middle and stuff with all this yummy stuff on top with a kind of tahini dressing. I'm going to do some roasted tomatoes with garlic and a nice thyme that was also in the box with a bit of balsam and top with a pesto dressing. And I'm also going to do some salmon on the side. And here we go. How good does this look? Shopped with this. So guys, it's over and out from me. I um, just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hope to see you all soon.